Lisa, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making a card with the Steffi Doll 4 stamp set, which is right here, and it has all of these fun pool scenes with the float and the snorkel and the Steffi Doll with her bathing suit. But instead of making her into a pool scene, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I did make her, and if you saw my video on this card, where she's in the pool with her, or she's in the ocean with her float. And I also made her into this shadow box where she is swimming with her float. And I will link these videos down below if you wanna watch those. But this one, I'm gonna do something different because as my son was looking at this um, stamp, he says, mom, she looks like she is a ballerina. And I said, oh my gosh, yes. She looks like she's doing a plie, the way she's standing and she has her arms out, so I'm turning her into a ballerina. So instead of doing the pool scene, that's what I'm doing. So I went ahead and colored her up. So if you wanna see the coloring on her hair or skin, you can go back to the previous videos and take a look at that because the coloring is all the same. One, after I, I did not color the um, this bathing suit portion, instead I used the dye and I die cut I die cut out um, the bathing suit, so I just took a piece of patterned paper and ran this die through the die cut machine and it gave me um, different pieces, but I'm just using the bathing suit. If you wanted to paper piece this entire doll, you can. So you can actually paper piece the hair and the face and all the skin, just get some nice colors and you can do that. But I'm, I went ahead and colored her up with my Copic markers and I am going to just piece that fun little print in there. And before I do that, I am just gonna add a little bit of ink to the edges of this. This is candy ink and this is a piece of pattern paper with the candy um, color in it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of ink to that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down. And then I took a piece of tool and believe it or not, I actually cut this off of my daughter's ballerina outfit that she had from when she was little. I said, I don't want to go have to buy some tool just to make this card. So I snipped some off her outfit. Isn't that awful? Okay, but it's just sitting under her bed. So it was not, it was just sitting there. So really no big deal. Okay, so this tool measures about four inches wide and it's about one and a half inches um, tall. And it's just a white tool with, it has a little bit of a sparkle in it. You can use any tool that you have, any colors that you have for this. And this is going to be adhered to her um, to her leotard, just right up here, just like that. So just make sure that it's short enough for what you want, what whatever look you're going for. I might trim this down just a little bit to make it a little bit shorter. And then just make sure that the edges are straight. All right, so I have my hot glue gun plugged in because I am gonna use that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this and probably just fold it. I'm folding it in on the sides. It's probably about an inch on each side. So if you just fold it in, on each side and then once it's folded in on one side just bring that side up and back down okay so again fold it in once just like that bring that up and then so the edge is facing down and just do that on both sides and that gives it just a little bit of a crinkle in her skirt and that way the edges they're folded in on both sides and that's the important thing is you definitely want them to be folded in on both sides okay and then we can just put some hot glue on there and adhere that to her outfit
All right, so she has her little ballet skirt. So I'm gonna take some of these gemstones and I'm going to put them along the edge here of her skirt, of her tutu, so that it covers up some of that hot glue. So, and actually I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the backs of these. Isn't that cute? Little ballerina with her little tutu. Love it. So make sure you put um, hot glue on these gemstones just so that they stay, because they're not just stuck to paper, they're actually stuck to this um, tool. For the card base, I'm using the A2 Swirl card base, which looks like this. You can have the swirl in the background. And I used the largest die in the set to make an A2 size card using the candy card stock, so I already have that ready. And I am going to take these two pieces, the swirl background die, as well as the rectangle, place those around, place the background die inside of the large rectangle. I have a piece of cloud cardstock with double-sided adhesive on the back. And I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine just like this. You have to be sure when you're using this die that you do include this large rectangle around the background die in order for this background to cut out of the cardstock. All right, so when that comes out of the die cut machine, just take the rectangle off of there and then peel your swirl background away from the background die. Peel off your double-sided adhesive. And then this piece will go directly on your A2 size card panel. Next, I'm using the Beautiful die, and I die cut the shadow layer out of the powdered sugar cardstock, and I die cut the the letters out of the candy cardstock, and I did put double-sided adhesive on the back of this candy cardstock before I ran it through my die cut machine just to make these letters easier to adhere, and I'm just going to adhere these. Some of you can see that these letters are um, a lot of these letters are individual letters, the B E Y. And then we have these two that are attached. So it's a really pretty font and I love this sentiment. I'm gonna take some white twine and I'm going to wrap it around the side of this card a few times. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot at the top right hand corner. and just snip off the ends pretty close to the knot. My ballerina is gonna go on here. I'm gonna have the beautiful statement and I also found a chipboard flower piece I thought would look pretty if I put there at the top. I take some of these really tiny they're very similar to these gems but they're much smaller and they're the same color and I was thinking about putting some of these in her hair just where her ponytail starts and because I didn't want the yellow showing on that flower I went ahead and put a silver epoxy dot on top of that because I didn't have yellow in my color scheme next I'm going to take my spectrum nor clear um, glitter marker and just cover these letters in the word beautiful with some glitter so I'm just going to paint that glitter on this is just a clear marker you can add this to any cardstock to add glitter to it or if you color with your alcohol markers you can add this to the coloring just to give it some sparkle all right so that completes this card i just love how it turned out so that's one way of using your Def steffi doll for stamp instead of having her as a beat in a beach scene you can turn her into a ballerina isn't that cute 
I just love how this card turned out. So I will link all the products in my blog. There is a link to the description in the description box below to my blog, and you can head over there and see all the products that were used. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.